for the first exercise you have to take your position like this you have to stand straight with your body totally relaxed you have to lock your fingers like this and slowly stretch your body upwards towards the ceiling you will feel a stretch in your lower back while doing this exercise because you will be pulling your body upwards and also your ankles will come off the ground this way you will feel a stretch in your lower back hold this position for 8 to 10 seconds and repeat 8 to 10 times if possible after doing 8 to 10 times you can relax take a break of 1 minute and then move on to second exercise for the second exercise you have to use a floor mat like this you have to lie down straight over it like this slowly bend both your knees and try to lift your pelvis upwards towards the roof this is known as pelvic lift or buttock lift exercise try to hold this position for 8 to 10 seconds and do 8 to 10 repetitions of this exercise as possible this is a very good exercise for your lower back thigh muscles hips as well as for your foot muscles try to do this exercise regularly this will not only improve the muscle tone in your lower back but also it relaxes the intervertebral discs for the third exercise you have to again lie on a mat like this but this time you have to lie with your tummy facing down you can you can see in this picture how you have to place yourself slowly fold your elbows and place them by the side of your shoulders slowly come into this position lift your body upwards and do like this this is known as cat and camel pose first you have to arch your body upwards and then downwards and when you are arching your body downward you have to place your or bring your neck towards your body when you when you are doing extension like this you have to look upwards and away from your body you can do 10 to 15 repetitions of this exercise this is a very good exercise for your for relaxing the muscles of your lower back this exercise should also be performed 8 to 10 times now for the next exercise you have to again come back to the same position and place your elbows by the sides of your shoulder slowly try to look upwards and stretch your body like this this is known as cobra pose some people are comfortable doing it only up to the elbow level this is very good exercise for stretching the lower back muscles and increasing the flexibility of the lower back hold this position for 8 to 10 seconds and then slowly you can relax when you are in this position try to concentrate on your breath try to breathe slowly and try to be regular in your breathing pattern now there is another modification of this exercise in which you again place your palms by the side of your shoulder and try to raise your body as high as possible in this you can see uh, we have fully stretched both the elbows and we are holding this position for 8 to 10 seconds you can see there is a stretch on the lower back and the entire back is arched this exercise is also known as Bhujangasana. Try to hold this position for 8 to 10 seconds and then slowly bring back to the original posture. This exercise should be done very slowly, especially in cases where somebody is suffering from acute low back pain. If you are not comfortable, do this exercise only till you raise your elbows and not your entire body. For the next exercise, take your position again like this. Now you have to lift alternate hand and legs like this. This is known as bridge, bridge position. Hold this position for 8 to 10 seconds. This is a very good exercise for lower back and the hips muscles. When you alternatively do this exercise with your left leg and right hand and then later on with your right leg and left hand, this increases the muscle strength in the lower back, hips region or the gluteal region as well as in the thigh region again try to hold this posture for 8 to 10 seconds and do 8 to 10 alternate repetitions of this exercise for the next exercise you again have to lie down like this and slowly lock your hands behind your back like this when you lock your hands like this your feet should be firmly on the ground 
and just try to lift the upper half of your body. Hold this position for 8 to 10 seconds. Breathe slowly, keep your breath regular and then relax. Try to do this repetition for 8 to 10 seconds. For the next modification of this exercise, try to lift alternate legs like this. In this, you don't have to lift the upper half of your body, but just lift both your feet one by one alternatively. Again, try to hold this position for 8 to 10 seconds and then slowly bring your legs down. For the third modification, try to lift both the legs together at one time. If somebody is having severe low back pain, please don't try this exercise. Otherwise, this exercise is very good for strengthening the muscles of lower back and the gluteal region. It is important that you should be very careful while doing all these exercises and at no point you should try to stretch your back too much or if there is any pain then don't try to do that particular exercise. For the next exercise you should try to lift both your feet as well as the upper half of your body simultaneously. This is also known as Nokasan. Hold this position for 8 to 10 seconds and then slowly you relax and let your body let your body come back to normal position. Do 8 to 10 repetitions of this exercise. This is a very good exercise for your lower back. It stretches the muscle in the lower back as well as increases the strength in your abdominal muscle, pelvic muscles as well as the thigh region. It is a very good exercise for those who are recovering from slip disc because this, this increases the flexibility as well as strengthens the muscle at the same time. This exercise should be done in small sets. Say start with a set of three exercises initially and then slowly you can go on increasing this exercise. This exercise along with other exercise should be done regularly. Normally I recommend all my patients to do all these exercises in repetitions of 8 to 10 times. It will hardly take 20 minutes.